Hello there. I don't know whether you're into New Year resolutions or not. I'm myself not particularly, but if I had made a resolution at the start of this year, I'm pretty confident it would have revolved around trying to do more walking. I have a Fitbit and sadly in recent years my daily 10,000 steps target uh, more often than not has, has not been met. So little did I know that um, come March of this year when lockdown happened that I would religiously be setting aside one hour a day to go out and do my maximum amount of walking I could do in that hour and really enjoy discovering parts of the city I didn't really know including White House Farm and footpaths around the Fishbourne area. Of course as soon as lockdown ended and I could do as much walking as I wanted to I don't know whether it was just me that this, this happened to, but I found myself doing much, much less walking. But in the passage from Galatians that we've had read to us, Paul uses the metaphor of walking by the Spirit and keeping in step with the Spirit. That metaphor to me seems very apt. To make a resolution to do more walking is probably not going to result in some major transformation of one's one's life and it's very unlikely um, to, to be able to necessarily set aside an hour or more each day to, to do walking. Far more likely that is that you're going to try to build into your ordinary everyday living a bit more walking which might mean just taking a slightly longer walk to work or maybe using the stairs rather than the lift or parking a bit further away and then walking the last bit of, of your journey. In the context of the passage in Galatians, if we are walking by the Spirit or keeping in step with the Spirit, we discover that it's the consistent everyday actions as we continue to walk step by step, our lifelong process of transformation into the likeness of Christ. That's, that's what we're aiming for. And of course there is conflict never struggle. Fruit needs to be cultivated and lasting change doesn't arrive overnight. So I say to myself, unlike some big resolution to do an awful lot less of that and a lot more of this, instead why don't I walk more in the spirit, be more attentive to the voice of God in the everyday aspects of living as a Christian. It's a lifelong process, of course, of transformation that never stops. But would that be true of me and of you as we seek to walk more in step with the Spirit? Thank you.